Hi, everybody. David here from DavidDumeAudio.com, and welcome to part three of the Video Game Sound Design Fundamental Series. Uh, if you guys haven't watched it yet, I suggest you go back and watch parts one and two. And if you have watched it, then welcome back, and let's just kind of uh, jump right in. So this video is going to be all about uh, reversing audio, stretching audio, and compressing um, audio uh, files, and when would be or what, what can you do with those and when would be the best time to use them. So um, yeah, I just kind of want to show you guys a few examples and we'll start here uh, with reversing audio files. So in general, I like to use uh, reversing as a technique to create uh, whooshes or layers for whooshes. And here's what that might sound like. So here's a gun sound I, I, I have. And if you reverse it, it might sound something like this. Right, and then what I'd like to do with whenever I have something like that is I'll add some reverb. This is the ROM reverb by Native Instruments. It's just a free reverb that they were giving away just this past uh, Christmas season. And with it on, it sounds like this. Right, so it's a great kind of whoosh sound, uh, which you can use for pretty much anything, uh, especially transitions or uh, to int intensify an impact or add a layer to an impact. Um, yeah, that's what I like to use it for. So same thing uh, down here. I have a weapon swing sound. And again, I'll play it now with the uh, ROM reversed. Right, so same idea. That's with it dry. So again, same idea. You kind of get this whoosh sound. Uh, down here, I have a weapon sound. This is just two knives being hit together and reversed. Right, and then I'll um, and then down here I have a retro kind of uh, game sound, and here I kind of showed um, created something else that's a bit different, which is kind of like a a pass by or a flyby or something like that with with by just by reversing this. Right, so different ideas, different things you can do with that, um, create different textures, different layers, and of course you can pitch shift them and layer them with other sounds. So now once you have, once you've done that, another thing you can do with audio files is uh, you can stretch them. So um, stretching, uh, generally it, it'll uh, create artifacts in the sound. So they're not always, it's not always what you want, especially if you're trying to create a pure kind of sound. But if you're trying to get something kind of sci-fi or something very different, it might be useful to have. So I'll show an example of it right here. So this is my uh, sound source. <laughs> It's right, just kind of an explosion sound. And what I did here is I just stretched it out a bit. So you can hear um, with this one, it kind of sounds almost almost warbly, and which can be quite useful depending on what you want to use it for. Um, but if you're trying to get something like a clear explosion sound, of course you wouldn't want to use that. But if you're going for something, like I said, sci-fi, or if you want to layer it as part of something or keep adding effects on it, it could be useful. And I, here, what I did is I just stretched it out even more so it, the artifacts would be even more obvious. Right, so that's what you get. Um, here, what I did is I, I, I wanted to try to create something that was completely uh, polar opposite, which is a really short sound. So these are two click sounds. It sounds like one. And when you stretch it out, this is what it sounds like. All right, so again, it's like a, a weird uh, character, sci-fi character, robotic character, something like that. that. That's kind of what I had in mind when I was creating that. So it, I thought it sounded cool, so I put that in, in there. So yeah, generally speaking, when you're stretching out audio, you'll create artifacts. Now the last thing uh, that you can do with audio is you can compress the audio file. So I'll kind of show you what that might look like over here. So let's say you have an explosion sound. You could just shorten it like that and you have the same sound, but now it's a lot shorter. So what happens now is that it'll be a higher pitched. Generally, I use that whenever I'm, I'm layering things that are not lining up quite well, uh, but you have to be careful with it because you don't want to overdo it because then you're really pitching things up. So if we play this file now, right? And if you remember what it sounded like before, it was like this. Right, and now if you shorten and compress it. 
So it can be useful. Now, like this, you could use as a layer for like a gunshot. So it depends what you're going for. But yeah, compressing audio files. Uh, yeah, you kind of change up the quality of the sound, and yeah, you can create new sounds like that. Like that. So, um, anyways, so those are the ways I like to use uh, reversing, stretching, and compressing um, audio files. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys do uh, with these. If you guys have cool tricks that you use, and let me know in the comments. And I think that's it for this video. And um, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.